five, four, three, two. Oh, I'll take too long. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? My name is AJ, and we are back on another episode of Let's Build a City. Uh, Santa Claus is still there. He hasn't been taken down yet, but he will be taken down shortly. Now, uh, Christmas Day has been and passed, uh, but today we're going to sort of do something to do with this space station. It was like a huge thing that you guys wanted for us to expand this space station. and uh, be some really cool ideas for it as well. Obviously, we want some more buildings, like down here, do you know? Oh, oh, what a great start. <laughs> well, while it's loading, I can tell you, uh, we want some more buildings down that, that edge. And obviously, we want some... Um, some sort of concrete on the floor there with maybe some car park and spaces and some sort of spacey themed tubes and pipes and pillars uh, uh, and all that kind of stuff but then there was a couple of new ideas and the first idea was satellite dishes and that sounds sick if we can get like two that didn't take too long see that didn't take too long uh, and hopefully we can get like I want two we're not doing that this episode but hopefully I, we can get two big satellite dishes um, sort of pointing, maybe, maybe even pointing in different directions. Here we go, we're back. So we can have like buildings down here and the car park and then maybe have like one satellite dish there pointing that way and one satellite dish there pointing like that way or something like that. I don't know. Uh, and then we can sort of fill this whole area out. On the map here, I've got the map, I've loaded like the boundaries of the map up as well. What I really want to do is I want to stick to this area first. Okay, um, I want to literally build this map up fully before we start going out. Now, don't worry, because we can still build a lot more stuff than we could before. Because as you can see, if we go beyond this tree line, which is where the border was before, we've actually got quite a lot of space. <laughs> Look, <laughs> wow, I didn't even realise it was that much. We've got all of this space now on each side. Uh, to build up with so there's a lot of stuff that we can actually add to this place without actually having to go out Far do you know what I mean without having to go off the map if you like But today I want to try and attempt to at least start a International Space Station style building inspired by the ISS now the reason why I'm not saying this is the ISS uh, is because we're not going to be able to make it look exactly like the ISS. <laughs> I'm not good enough to get something that looks identical to the ISS. The first thing that we need to do, though, is we need to work out how high we can go without going out of the boundary. The last thing that we want to do is start building it and then only be able to fit half of it in. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right up to the build limit of the place. It's a bit of an easter egg because I doubt you're going to be able to see it from the floor. You might be able to. We can still see the skyscrapers. How cool does it look like from up here though? We're above the clouds already. Well above the clouds in fact. Oop. And that's it. So out of interest, 256. That's exactly what I thought. So if I take that away and I place, for now I'll just place any block there. Can I place a block there? Oh I can't because it's, there we go. So you can't place anything on top of that. That is the top of the world. You can't build anything higher than that. So if you wanted anything to be built up here, start from the top and work your way down. So let's just fall down to the bottom here. Yeah, whoa, look at that for an illusion. It looked like they, they stopped, didn't it? And now we've got to go all the way back up to the top here. We can follow the um, raining. There it is, I found it. Just <laughs> follow the raining carpets uh, until you find your way up. There we go. Wow, we're so high. This is crazy. So, the ISS... In fact, these lapis blocks might work really well. I was going to originally use uh, blue stained clay as the solar panels. But lapis actually looks really nice. So, what we're going to do... Let's get a splash potion. As soon as we're up in space, um, we're going to build... Um, I'm a little bit stumped on this. This is going to be a really fun thing for me to build because I'm like a huge space fan. Like, more than you can believe. I love some space. So, seven blocks wide. That's five. That's six. That's seven. Now, I don't know that well the ISS. I don't, I don't really um, look at it too much. I've seen it go over, like in the real world, I've seen it fly over. Uh, a couple of times, but I've never really uh, looked at pictures of it. I've seen people on it. I've watched videos of people actually on the ISS. 
Uh, but myself, uh, I haven't. I really looked too much into it. I like uh, planets, planets and stars and solar systems and stuff like that. Uh, I, I don't know why. I'm just a huge fan of that. That's too chunky. That's too big and chunky. Let's take that away. Um, yeah, I a game that really um, stood out to me. Uh, that probably, possibly, even sort of helped me get into space. Well. I don't know. I was into space before that game came out, but something that um, sort of led me towards it a little bit. What block should we use? Iron bars, maybe? Everything's moved. I swear iron bars used to be in here. How strange, they? and there's no search function on console. Ah, here they are. Haha, -ha, I found them. Okay, ignore me. I'm fine. I found it, okay? I got there eventually. Let's put this around the outside. Uh, so, yeah, anyway. Uh, so, I'm into space stuff. Planets, stars solar systems and a game that when it first came out I wasn't that interested in was a game called Spore and it's all uh, sort of originally was about um, uh, evolution in a weird way uh, no slabs we want I think uh, like, like evolution you start off as this little tiny cell and you grow and you evolve into like a land dwelling creature and then you eventually get into like a, a tribal stage and it gets more and more uh, sort of complicated you know the civilization the civilization stage is sort of the stage that we're at now where Stonewall where these move to now there they are <laughs> just trying to get used to everything again um, so yeah uh, civilization stage is like the stage that humans are in uh, right now and then once you pass through that sort of stage I don't like that once you pass through that stage, you then get into the space stage. And boy, oh boy, is the space stage the most awesome stage you could ever imagine. Uh, it's like, basically the space stage in Spore makes the rest of the game look like a tutorial sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? It's like the space stage is so vast, so huge, uh, that it's, it's crazy that there's even the rest of the game in it. Uh, you could explore pretty much anything. You could go on for, like, just, you could travel for literally days in, like, any direction. It was so cool. And uh, you would build up, oops, you would build up your, uh, sort of, your, your crew and your army. And eventually uh, try and take on the leaders of the galaxy, uh, which were called the Groks. And I never done it. I never, I never really completed it. I liked to, to just sort of uh, wander around aimlessly in, sp in space, looking for really cool planets or really expensive, um, or uh, planets that had really expensive uh, ore on them. Well, they were called spice in the spore game, but they're basically like, um, like ores. And if you found one that had like expensive spice, you could like sell them for a really high price and get very rich very, very quickly. <laughs> And then you could trade for weapons to blow up places, you know, um, uh, cities, uh, what are they called, like other races that you were at war with. You could go and blow up their planets or you could take them on or you could raid them. Or you could go the other way and you could trade with people and you could befriend them and become allies. Um, both were really beneficial, like I would be in trading, um, trading routes and... Um, alliances with some and then some that I didn't like uh, I would go to war with uh, it was just really really cool I don't like that I like I want it to be a little bit of a rounder shape so I don't really know where I'm going here at the minute what we're doing is we're just starting as I say we're starting from the top and working our way down so we don't go any higher than that than that point up there um, but this is the part where they sort of live in it's a very confined space uh, the ISS as a whole um, I do know that I should really get some pictures, but I think I've got a pretty good idea on how it sort of goes. Well, we're, we're sort of, we're using it as inspiration. We're building an ISS style building. We're not building the ISS. So, um, as long as we keep that in mind, we should be okay. So, we're going to come out here. It's quite a big thing, though. It's quite a large uh, building. I want to cut a couple more blocks. Duk, 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 duk. And then we're going to go into, like, another sort of thin one like this and then we'll come out again just getting the main body of the place in first whoops I had an itchy head 
<laughs> like this. And then I want a bit of a sphere here. Whoops. Like this. Uh, let's make it a 3x3. Three three. Well, it's more of a cube than a sphere. But in the real world, it would be like a sphere, I think, in my mind. Something like that. And then what we want to do is come off this way. This quartz is a beautiful block for it. Really, really nice. So we're going to come off here. And then let's have a little bit of a larger pod. Like at the end. Like maybe a bedroom. Like a living quarters or something like that. Like this. And like this. Boop. 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 Oops. Eh. 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 Uh -huh. Place it right. How's that looking? It's looking, it's getting there, it's getting there. We're going to have some big solar panels on the side that I'm just uh, holding off off on the moment. The ISS isn't symmetrical. This side uh, is actually bigger than the other side. So I'm going to I'm gonna take that bit of inspiration from the ISS and put it into this space station. The Zono Space Station. Uh, Zasa. <laughs> Zasa. Z-A-S-A. -A. Does that sound good? Zasa. <laughs> we should put that on like a, a sign somewhere, shouldn't we? We should make a... Like a, um, a big plaque with Zasa written on it or something like that. Okay, bang, bang. Oops. Bang, 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 bang. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So you can imagine uh, they would walk through there and there would be like control panels and all that kind of cool jazz. Let's have this one a bit more rounded. Make it a little bit more like a sphere, sort of. As sphere as we can get on Minecraft on this scale. Okay. That's looking pretty cool. We're going to put some different blocks in here soon, like some... Ooh. Ooh, black stain clay. Have you seen what clay looks like in this texture pack? Let me get a couple of blocks, like a colour, for example. Like, it's so nice. It really, really is. Oh, I've got a block of coal. What does block of coal look like? Ooh, that's really black. And what does black wool look like? Black wool, and let's get the orange one as a comparison for the other bit. So there's black wool. Yeah, coal is like black, black, isn't it? Very dark. And then the orange is this. So basically, in this texture pack, hardened clay or stained clay is basically like wool, but softer. They have a softer color, which makes it really good for houses. We'll be doing some ho <clears throat> we'll be doing some houses soon using stained clay, as it's just got a softer feel to it. Uh, I liked the black stained clay though. I think that was a really nice sort of texture for this ISS. We can start placing some of these in on the ends and stuff like that. Like this. Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come off. I'm going to come off right here-ish. Let's get the um, quartz back again. I'm going to replace that snow because I keep going for that instead of the other one. So we're going to come off right here, just for, uh, let's do another one, like this, there we go, just for a little bit, and then we're going to come off to some really big solar panels. We need to get clear though of that pod before we start, okay, so something like that, and then, well let's have a look what blocks we got, so we've, we're have we going to get all the blues here because these are solar panels, and I know on the real ISS, look how many blues we've got now, wow. Do some really cool pixel out. Um, I know on the real ISS, they're sort of a golden colour. But for the purposes of being able to sort of see what it is, uh, I want to use blue. Because I think it's just more, um, I don't know, more solar panel looking. So I used lapis up there. But what one do we like the best for solar panel? I like that one. Let's take away the ones I don't like. So I don't like diamond. I don't like cyan. I don't like that one. I don't mind that one too much, but I, the least favourite out of them. I like that one, and I like that one. I don't like that one. It's down to these three. That's dark. Nope, I like that one. Um, let's use the stained clay one. Okay, so let's clear my inventory. And it was this one, wasn't it? Boop. Yeah, it was that one. Okay, so these, the first one, we shall start here. And these will basically, or these would... Uh, like on the real ISS, these would sort of uh, swing open uh, a little bit. What we're going to do is we're just going to come up a few blocks, let's take these ones away, get this quartz back. We want to work out how wild we want each one to be. 
So if we done them five wide, like this, let's just go up a couple of blocks. This is going to be an off-camera jobby while I actually fill these in because they're very repetitive. But we'll try and do as much as one together as we can. Something like that. And then we want to join these up together, possibly using stone walls like that and on here uh, 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 uh. that's looking pretty cool that's looking pretty cool and then maybe a little bit of glowstone in there to give a little bit of light to it yes okay so hmm I think it would look better whoops if it was just back one though if it was a little bit closer Something like that. Something like... Oops. Something like that. That's pretty good. Uh, there's some iron bars. I like them on the first page. Now I know where they are. They're very handy that they're on the first page. Let's connect that up a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like that. So you have one above it and one below it. And then there's a, on the real ISS, there's like a row of four of them together. Ah! You know the problem I've just foreseen, don't you? You've seen it, haven't you? We can't go any higher than that. Actually, it's not that far off. We can go longer on the bottom. Hey, what about that? We can go longer on the bottom. We were only using the ISS as uh, inspiration anyway. Who says that it needs to be the same style solar panels? Maybe... Zono, uh, Zono Enterprises or Zasa found a more efficient way to do the solar panels, hey? <laughs> so let's work out how far down we want these to go. How big we want these panels to be. This is what actually gives the ISS its power because obviously they can't, they can't hook it up to uh, Earth's national grid. You know, they can't have a, a power line coming up here. So they have to be able to have their own power while they're up here. And when you're in space, probably the best power you're going to get is from the sun. Seeing as though that's, uh, there's a lot of it up there. <laughs> there's a lot, of, a lot of sun, a lot of light up there. Uh, even though it's pitch black, you know, the, um, still, still is emitting light. So then the uh, solar panels gather up all of this light. That's about the length that I want it. Might even be a little bit too long. Maybe if we cut these five off. Oh yeah, I like that. And I like the top one being shorter as well. It's like our own our own little twist on it. Okay, so we're going to come down here. Just staying with you guys for a minute. We'll, I'll have to do the best of them off camera though. You guys don't want me to see to see me do like 10 of these. <laughs> All on camera, do you? I don't think so. Uh, let's come down here. We might have some like quartz at the bottom of the panel, possibly. Not quite sure yet. We'll have a look. So let's come down here, down here, oops, down there, down there, and then we'll have a quartz one on the bottom here with some iron bars. I just put these iron bars in to connect them up a little bit to each other. We'll have a glowstone at the bottom there, and then iron bars at the front and underneath. Yeah, the iron bars just look like they sort of connect then. That looks so cool. Yes. <laughs> Can't wait to see what it looks like from the ground. If we can even see it. If we can see it, it's going to be so dull. Uh, like, you can sort of see some skyscrapers. Like, you can't see the skyscraper there. But if I turn, you can see it come into shot. See that now in the bottom left-hand corner? Boop. Gone. Back. Gone. Very interesting. Okay. Let me put some of these, more of these panels in. Wait a minute. Um, how we want to work out how far away from each other they're going to be. Let's continue this on. Because what I would really like is to leave a gap and then have this down the side. Oh yeah, by the way guys, I've got it on eternal day. The sun hasn't moved. The sun stayed there. That's the sun. That's the moon. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the sun hasn't, uh, hasn't moved at all. So we've got it on eternal day so we don't need to sleep anymore, which is absolutely fantastic. Typically though, I put it on eternal day, the episode where we're building something that will look great in the dark, <laughs> in in space, um, typically. But if I have time, I'll I'll 
uh, quit out and put it on to night time uh, or, or let it go until night time so we can actually see what it looks like in the dark. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, so we have that in between and then we have the next, oop, the next panel start there and uh, wait a minute, like this and like this and then underneath here, connect that one up, that one goes there. Yeah, so we've got a block in between it. That's pretty cool. Okay, guys, so I'm going to sit here for the next hour or so. Uh, I might go with three on this side and three on the other side instead of four, uh, but we'll see how it goes. And then we've got a little bit more that we need to add to this as well, so I need to get cracking. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just finishing it off. I just thought I'd come back to you to see the, the final bits of the solar panels being done. I decided to go with three on each side, uh, which gives us six in total. Since so our ISS is a little bit smaller uh, than the real one. Well, a lot smaller <laughs> than the real one. The real one, I mean, is absolutely huge, isn't it? I mean, I'm not even kidding. It's massive. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, please remember this is Minecraft and not like some simulating building game. I, if I see a single comment in the comment section below saying, um, you forgot to do the galactic defibrillating ring energizer, how is it a real ISS without that? Um, I will ignore you. <laughs> I don't care. I'm doing it, uh, it's just, it's just something that I wanted to add to the place. Uh, I'm not doing it to try and make an identical replica of it. Uh, it's only for a laugh. Uh, the whole city's only for a laugh. I know I miss out some important details uh, on some builds, and most of the time it's just because I do forget. Uh, the biggest one being the uh, primary school. Man, do you guys still go on about that in the comment sections uh, on that video? You forgot lockers. You forgot the the, the dining room. You forgot toilets. The cafeteria. Uh, uh, you forgot. St all sorts. And I'm like, man, it's, it's Minecraft. I was just playing them out. It was like episode five. I just started. Um, but it, it's great to see that you guys are, are passionate, as, as passionate about it uh, as I am. So I really do. I, I do actually appreciate it when you guys uh, even say silly things like that uh, in the conversation because uh, it shows that you're interested and it shows that I'm uh, at least partially entertaining you. So, yeah, thank you for those comments. <laughs> But I don't want any on the ISS. Uh, <laughs> you can say stuff if I need to. Uh, if I've missed stuff out, then yeah, you're more than welcome to to let me know. The next part though on this ISS, let's stop rambling on because we've got some more bits that we need to add. Can you believe it? I know it's there's so much to an I to this ISS, it's unbelievable. But we're going to use um, either grey wool or grey stained clay. I like grey stained clay. I'm I'm a huge fan of this this grey stained clay now that we've got it. Uh, in fact, we could do both. Mm, nope, we can use light grey stained clay. Wow, what a mouthful! Light grey stained clay. <laughs> wow, we're gonna bring these back here like this. I don't know what these are. I'm sure I've probably got one really big space fan in the comment section below that will be able to tell me. Uh, what these things are, uh, but they sort of come off the ISS. Uh, sometimes they're pointing towards the back, sometimes they're pointing up, it seems, on different pictures. I've had a look on the pictures now to see um, sort of what if I've missed anything, what I've missed and uh, what I need to really do. Uh, but we're going to do the same on this side. I don't know how many blocks back i done. We came back to this block right here. Back. Come on. I don't know how we're doing for time. It's probably going to be a bit of a longer episode, but I'm enjoying it, and I really want to see it from the floor. I'd really like to see it at night time as well, but that might be a little bit of work waiting 10 minutes for it to become night time after quitting off the world, putting um, uh, Eternal Day off, turning that back off, coming back on the world, waiting until night time to then show you guys. I might do it. If I've got time, I'll do it. Okay, so there's that bit. Now, there's actually a lot of bits on the ISS that actually come like below it. It's like really cool, uh, but they have like little pods that come below because I suppose in space where there's no gravity, you can have things any way up, can't you? Because you'll just turn around. So if you want to come down here, you just float down. And then if you want to go up, you just float up. So uh, it doesn't really matter what orientation anything is uh, in space. It's really weird to think that, isn't it? 
really weird to think that one is going to come down a couple more. I don't know what this is, but it's got like a little sort of, I don't know, thing on the bottom here. I'm just adding bits that I can see, or sort of see on the picture. You can't see it too, in too much detail, but I'm just adding things that look cool and just add something more to the ISS, or ISS. Uh, I don't know, just little features and little bits that come off it. And this is quite a large area here because it's not symmetrical. So we're going to add, probably add like another capsule room here, whatever we, whatever you want to call them. We'll add that there. Oops. Ah, no, no. Okay, yeah, no, not that one though. <laughs> I'm getting all confused. It's, it's like being in space, you don't really know what way up is. Do you know what I mean? You sort of get lost because all you can see is sky for the longest time. Uh, oops, that's not meant to be there, is it? One minute. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. So far, ish. There, there, there. So hard, just adding a little capsule. There we go. That's not symmetrical. <laughs> that looks like it's squished. Like that. And like that. So we've added like a little ball in the middle of it. And off here, we're going to have another sort of thing that comes down. Let's do this one grey, though. Get some more colours. Let's bring it down a little bit further than the black one. Just a, just a smidge further, like this, and then we'll add um, probably like another little bauble down the bottom here, a smaller one though, smaller little ball, like this, ah, 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 ah. wonderful, maybe some black bits in there as well, eh, eh, eh. how are we looking, let's stand back and have a look, we haven't done that yet, okay, we're getting there. It's definitely starting to improve. We definitely need some more stuff like hanging off below. Ah, I tell you what we'll do is on the real ISS, they're not in these locations. But just to add some detail to the front here, what we're going to do is we're going to do, well, we do one on that side and two on this side. And they're very similar to those ones at the back there that we've done with the two different stained clay colours. Uh, apart from they sort of, or well, they appear to be like uh, wavy. Almost like they're flapping in the wind. I know it's in space, so there aren't, there isn't any wind, but there must be some reason to why they sort of uh, flap out a little bit. Could just be the shape. I have no idea. You know, after this, after this episode, I'm going to go and read up on the ISS. I think that's what my homework's going to be. I'm going to go and read up about it. Just give myself some more knowledge on it. So we're going to bring these down a little bit. I don't really know what shape I'm doing here. We just sort of trying to get some sort of thing going yeah oh that looks so cool definitely let's match those up symmetrically on this one and on the next one so it comes down oops and then down down there down there oops and then down that one wonderful three blocks wide this is so cool, just adding little bits like that. I want to add some more detail to the quartz, like maybe using some greys uh, and stuff like that, and some, some iron bars in some places. But let's just finish this one off over here first. So we come down, and then we come out, and down two. Out, but this one is down three. In one, but it's only two. In one again, and this one's uh, three blocks long. And then the last one is two on the bottom. And then triple it up. Oh, we're running over time. Damn it. Uh, that's looking so cool. Yes. We're getting there. We're getting there. Now, let's add some cobblestone walls in these places here. Just to, like, give some, some detail and some bits like that. These are, like, little, maybe, like, uh, radio antennas or something like that. They go back to Houston. Or not Houston in our... <laughs> in our place, but in the real world it goes back to Houston. Um, I think it goes as wherever it goes, it goes somewhere, doesn't it? Uh, so there's that. Let's get some iron bars. Iron bars on the first page now. Oh, I had them on my inventory. Um, I'm just trying to like add pointless blocks. They they are really pointless, but they just add just the minutest bit of detail, like like this and like this. Maybe if we get some slabs now. Just add some of these about. Just dotting them about, really. Oh, you're having a joke. Oh, you're having a bubble. This is the third time it's crashed today. Um, let me get back into the game.
game. Let me not waste any more time because we're already behind now. Okay, I'm back. It didn't turn out too bad. It gave me a chance to have a look at the... Um, uh, oh, God, the picture. <laughs> uh, my, my brain is going. I've been building space stuff for too long. Um, and I noticed that there's like another little solar panel back here. Whoops. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't freak out on me like that. How many blocks did I do then? Because I like that. Seven. Same as above. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. So there's another one on the back there. That's looking so cool. Let's go around with this iron bars again. Because I like the look of that iron bars around the outside here. They look like little cables and stu stuff like that. Such. I don't like that one on the end though. I don't like how it just sort of stands out like that. Okay. So there's another one. And then I noticed um, I want something like, well, we've got a little bit of we've got space here. What we're going to do is we're going to come out here like a little pipe to another little bauble thing. Calling them baubles. Pods. Pods is a more spacey word, isn't it? Let's make it a little bit bigger. Something like this. Something like, whoops, like that. Something like that. Just makes it a little bit chunky, a little bit more worthy of being there. And then we're gonna put these down. And then they have like a little, sort of like a little space satellite, it seems to look like to me. So we're gonna have that. Oh, we're at the word limit. That's cool. It'd be nice to have one more block, but it doesn't matter. So we're just gonna put that there like that. <laughs> it's so cool. It's so cool to have like all these. It's like really nice. I just really, really like it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come off here. I don't know why, but we're gonna come off here. And we're going to add, just because I'm in one of those moods. Uh, no, let's not come off with that. Let's come off with this. Wow. That looks so dark underneath that shadow. It looks like it sort of matches almost. But we're going to have another one of these satellite things. But on its side, like what we just done. Oh yeah, we were using slabs, weren't we, before it crashed. Yeah, I'll get back to that as well in a minute. Just want to add these bits. Um, something like that. I tell you what, let's also add, like, that and I don't know why don't ask me why guys I just saw something that sort of looked like that on the side of it so we're gonna do it something like that looks pretty cool like little detailed bits you don't really think of don't you with our uh, pictures right slab just to add a couple more of these down in places it just add a little touch of detail doesn't it like this like that one there and one there Wonderful. How are we looking then? Oh, that looks so cool. That really does look awesome, hey? Wow. Okay, guys. Uh, I really... Oh, let's have a look at what it looks like from the ground. If we can even see it. Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, that is awesome. That looks so much better than I even thought. Hey, Miss Father Christmas. Hey, Santa. How cool does that look in the sky there? Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, I I know it's going to be dark, but I do want to see what it looks like at night time. So um, I'm going to take it off eternal day, wait for it to go to night time, and I shall be right back. Can you believe it? <laughs> Just as it starts to get dark... It rains. And if I sleep away the rain, I'm also going to sleep away the night. And I'm not going to wait another, like, 20 minutes for it to come back round again. It's looking so cool, though. I do apologise for the rain. Uh, you'll just have to try and see through it a little bit. Uh, you should never leave me alone off camera. <laughs> We've now got... You can see... You should be able to see his name if I can... Oh, it's because I've got my HUD off. That could be why. If I take this off... We now have... Uh, Space Pork the Pig. <laughs> He's Space Pork the Pig. <laughs> okay, so while I was also off camera waiting for it to be night time, uh, I used my time well by placing buttons down everywhere, uh, placing some redstone torches everywhere, some repeaters everywhere, some uh, weighted iron pressure plates everywhere, a um, few more daylight sensors, and really filled out the ISS. We, we've really got something that looks good. We've got pressure plates and buttons down this main column here now the same along here with some redstone torches it just looks really really nice do you know what i mean 
I re really filled it out, really added detail to it, added buttons on the edges, I added a light, um, a, what is it, a light, a light grey stained clay block in the middle, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and add buttons onto it, just added little bits to it really to, to really make it pop and make it stand out, but that looks so cool. Uh, that is definitely going to do it for this episode though, because it's been well over an hour and a half for me building this. Um, minus all the cutting out bits and the waiting and stuff like that. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye!